Hello, Sanction Nerds, and welcome to Sanction Nerds. That's right, so we're just continuing with Richard M. Felder, number 2.10 on the whiteboard. So, 500 pound mass, nitrogen is charged into a small metal cylinder, and 25 Celsius at a pressure such that the gas density, density of the gas, is 11.5 kilograms per meter cube, and we need to estimate without a calculator the cylinder volume. All right, so how are we gonna do this? So let's, I'm a very visual person, so let's just draw like a little picture. Um, here we go. Uh, okay, so that's my attempt at a cylinder. Do me a favor and stop moving. So, the temperature, you put like a little temperature probe, it's 25 Celsius, and we want a pressure such that the density is actually going to be 11.5 kilograms per meter cubed. And so we want to estimate the cylinder volume. So you might be thinking, hmm, temperature, pressure, why not use the ideal gas law? Well, that'll get you nowhere. So we're just going to simply use density equals mass over volume, and we want to estimate the cylinder volume, so volume is going to be mass over density, that's right, mass over density. Alright, so, um, and we can just kind of just plug stuff in. So the density is 11.5 kilograms per meter cube. And the nitrogen is 500 pound mass. And, um, <clears throat> and so we just need to convert pound mass to kilograms. So I believe two pounds is a kilogram, right? Two pounds is a kilogram. But since we have to estimate without a calculator, why don't we just turn this into 10? 10 kilograms. 11.5 is approximately 10. So 500 divided by 2, divided by 10, is going to be, at the 0, 50 divided by 2, is going to be approximately 25. And we can check the units, cancel out pound mass, kilograms, meters cubed goes on top, and so we do have 25 meters cubed. Alright, a nice simple little problem. I feel like they're, they might be getting a little bit easier, but... I think after this, we're going to get into a little more challenging topics. All right. Uh, don't forget to share this with your friends, family, and your dog.